guys, welcome to Crick Hunt. In the second one day international, the reverse happened. Yeah, I can't believe it. I mean, when India, I mean, when Indians bowl, Chahal bowl brilliantly. I mean, because of his dipping leg spinners, you know, yeah, best of playing across the line, bowl and the root bowl across the line and grow everybody strokes. I thought Chahal, Chahal bowl well. Leg spinners are always potential match winners, I always say. When I thought India wrapped up England for 246, honestly, in my opinion, let me be very frank, dear viewers, I thought England had the match in the, I mean, sorry, India had the match in their pockets. But I can't believe it. Indians were all on for one more to six. Top play was deadly. And I realized one thing, and I saw top play bowl. He's, I think, followed the Boomerah style, what Boomerah did the first one day. Just good line, line length, height, movement, in, out, cutting, ding, zing, zang, in, out. And you saw the way Roy Sharma got out coming in. And then you saw the way Virat Kohli got out going out. Zang, and just the way Barstow got out to Boomerah in the first, uh, award, uh, first one day international. So, ultimately, but Indians have always struggled against good left arm medium pacers who move the ball well. And if you look at look at the top least bowling map, I mean, the pitch map for Boomerah's pitch map the first one day, it is similar. Just short of length, on and round off stuff, ball pitching, moving away, coming in. So the batsmen are in doubt. When the, uh, with such a height, top lead from going from height and bowling fast medium coming from such a height and bowling in and out, batsmen always struggle because they are in doubt. That's why you see they were all in doubt and they got it. But I thought top lead pulled brilliantly. But in all fairness, you got to give it to England because during the mid-match mid break, when everybody was talking, everybody thought 246 should be an easy ask for India. Because don't forget, this is a full-fledged Indian side and that's a full-fledged England side. This is real competition. On one side, you have the World Cup champions. On the other side, strong Indians. But I thought the English guys did it brilliantly, man. They fought back very well. Well and Topley, super stuff. I mean, I really thought Indians had it, but then Topley had different plans and England had different plans. So I should say the third one day international on 17th is going to be very, 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 very interesting, dear viewers. Let's wait and see. So it's going to be good to see bowlers winning matches. Good to see bowlers dominating on white ball cricket. That's a good sign. Well on Topley, well on England, well on. And I tell you what, third ODI is going to be very, very interesting. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks a lot, guys.